Hey guys, Multiclass Gamer here. Welcome back to more Let's Play Pikmin. In the last episode, I can't say yesterday because we didn't post a video yesterday, so I'm gonna be posting two videos today to make up for that. So, as I said before, in the last episode, we made some really good progress in the Forest Naval for the first time ever and actually got three parts in one day. We well, actually we did that the first day we were there, but still. Either way, we actually finally made some progress there, okay? And today, we're going to make the most progress you can possibly get at this point, and that's by getting the very last part there. Now, um, the very last part here, um, we're actually going to be finding a boss to get to. Yeah, I know, it's, it's crazy. We're actually going to be just spending a whole day just fighting a boss. Well, maybe not the whole day, we might actually spend the rest of the day just... Uh, farming some blue Pikmin if we have any time left, which we, which we should. I don't know why we don't. Um, actually, I don't know why I'm getting red Pikmin, because we actually need yellow Pikmin to fight this boss, okay? At least it's what's recommended. Actually, no, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna grab, uh... Let's grab 25 yellow Pikmin and 25 red Pikmin, okay? Now, the reason why I'm not bringing that much yellow Pikmin, you guys will see once we get to the boss, okay? Just saying that. So now we're going to pull out red 25 red Pikmin, and the reason why I'm grabbing 25 red Pikmin is because um, we're going to be carrying whatever we get through the, through a, what am I trying to say, a stupid, uh, a fire geyser, or whatever, whatever those things are called, okay, I don't know, god. And, alright, so we're just going to head on over there, so... You know, I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna cut. I was- I was actually planning on cutting, like, right there, but I don't feel like it. And let's- please tell me we don't have to find any easy good, okay. I was worried the share grubs were gonna- were gonna be there again, but- it, either way, here we are. So, yeah, this is why I brought Red Pigment, because we're gonna have to carry the red- carry the part back, um, through this fire thing, so that's why I'm bringing the Red Pigments to- to be able to do that, but- <clears throat> we're gonna have to red, leave the Red Pigment out here and get our Yellow Pigment. And here we go, into the battlefield. So, as you step in here, be careful because once you step far enough into here, this will happen. This guy will drop down and kill, instantly kill 10 Pikmin, yeah. So, this is the BD Long Legs. This guy will stomp on your Pikmin, basically. That's what he tries to do. And the reason why I brought only 25 Yelp Pikmin, but apparently lost six, um, is because the more Pikmin you have, the more space to take up, and thus, the more likely you are to lose Pikmin. So, here's how you fight BD Longlegs. You throw a Pikmin onto his head. That's basically what you do. That's all you can do, and not only that, but you're also trying to avoid his, uh, legs as you're doing this. So that makes this boss fight pretty difficult. This guy's actually a lot easier in Pikmin 2, and yes, he does make a reappearance in Pikmin 2, but we'll take him Actually, I'll be Pikmin 2, okay? Alright. So, so far we're doing okay, we've only lost the Pikmin that we lost in the beginning of this boss fight, which is kind of stupid, because that's actually the very first time I've ever lost Pikmin in the beginning of this boss fight. I usually only lose Pikmin during the boss fight, but whatever, we're still, we're doing, we're doing just fine. We're just gonna keep on throwing Pikmin on him, hopefully, yeah, we've already depleted half his health, so we're, we're, so we're getting there. We're doing just fine so far. Still haven't lost any Pikmin yet, we're actually doing pretty good. Oh god, please don't jinx yourself, please don't. You are seriously gonna jinx yourself, aren't you? Oh god. Alright, come on. Come on, just kill him already. Before he kills any more Pikmin, please just kill him. Please. Please, just kill him. Oh god. We're getting way too many... Yeah, we're getting way too many close calls here. We need to just kill this guy already. Come on. We're so close to killing him, just kill him already, dude. Just kill him, dude. Come on, kill him, kill him! Aw, oh, crap, we just lost Pikmin, wow. Of course, he had to get one more Pikmin death in right as the boss fight ends. I had to jinx myself right there and lose one Pikmin. All right, well, either way, that guy taken care of, we now have the final part of, for this, of the Force Naval, which is the Guard Satellite. Deep space is filled with dangers. This automated satellite does its part to help guard both me and my spaceship. I'll sleep better at night once this little satellite is back on duty. Okay, wait a second. So, this warns him of potential dangers in space? Okay, well then how the hell did he... 
get hit by the meteor in the beginning of the LP. I mean, the beginning of the game, actually. How did he get hit by a meteor if this thing was there to warn him? Seriously, think about it, dude. If you had this thing the entire time, how did how did it not warn you? God, this, this is probably not as helpful as Captain Omar said it was. I'll just say that. I will definitely say that. But either way, I think we should stop arguing. Well, actually, not necessarily arguing, because if we were arguing, then there would be someone else in the room with me. But, um... Yeah, so we got 20 Red Pikmin carrying this part, so... Um... That's pretty much... That's gonna be it for the Force Naval, actually. There's not really much else to do, so... Since, since we've gotten all the parts, we're going to spend the rest of the day just uh, building up the Blue Pikmin population. Because obviously that's the only thing we can possibly do here now. So, um... <clears throat> Man, I've been having a lot of trouble with my voice lately. Like, I think it's just my just my throat's getting like kind of sore because it's getting to that point of the year or something like that. I don't know. There's another theory is that, well, possibly... I don't know, maybe it's just I talk too much, like... I guess from recording these episodes too much, I actually did see a, um, I saw a Let's Play of this, uh, game recently, and the first thing I remember hearing from the commentator was that LPers should eat Top Ramen or something like that before they record episodes. It's actually a pretty good piece of advice. I'm actually, I'm thinking about trying that out soon, except the only thing, the only problem with that is that I don't have Top Ramen, but I do agree that it's very, very delicious. I'm not gonna lie, it actually pretty it pretty much is. And crap, we're oh wait no, no. I thought we were long yellow pigment, but I mean a uh, red pigment, actually. But no we're not, we still got dude, seriously, okay. Okay, so we still got at least a hundred red and yellow pigments, so we're still good on that. So we just need to kinda increase our blue pigment population, alright. Well, there's not... The only unfortunate part about that is that there's really not that much to... Yeah, there's really... There's not that much enemies here in the Force Naval, sadly. So... So, in actuality, this may actually be the very first time that we end a day off early. So, if that's the case, and this is probably only going to be like a 10-minute episode or so, I don't know. There was a cut, like, early in the episode because I actually had to go and get some water. In fact, I'll drink some right now. I know you guys don't want to listen to this, but either way, we're just waiting for the part to get back to the ship, so... I don't want to cut out too much, so we'll just wait for it to get here. While we're doing that, I'll drink some ice water. Alright, just got a nice gulp of ice water. But I guess that doesn't help my voice much, because apparently it never does. But either way, we finally got the part back to the ship. <coughs> So that officially 100% completes the Force Naval. As you can see, it actually appears on top of the ship instead of automatically going on the side of it. Why it does this, I have no idea. Because actually when the ship blasts off at the end of the day, the the guard satellite actually instantly like goes onto the side but like attaches to it. So I wonder I always kinda wonder why it doesn't do that, you know, permanently. But either way, we got it back to ship. So this has protected me from space pirates many, many times. Yeah, but not meteors. I have now recovered 15 out of 30 parts. Okay, so we're now officially 50% through the game, actually, at this point. And, uh... <clears throat> with us being 50% through the game, we're also 100% done with uh, the Force Naval. And so... That's gonna about do it for today. I know I said I was gonna spend the rest of the day increasing the Blue Pigment population, but really... It might be easier when we go back to the impact site, which we're going to do tomorrow, because there's a part in the impact site that we need to get, as well as three parts in the Force, Na Force of Hope that we need to go back and get with the Blue Pikmin on our side now. So, um, so yeah, that's going to do it for today. So I'm just going to pause the game and go to Sunset. That's what you want to do when you want to automatically end off the day. And there you go. So yeah, sorry this uh, day was actually a lot shorter than usual, but I guess I really kind of need to make it that short anyways because of uh, because of the fact that I got two days of post today since I missed yesterday. <clears throat> so 
Yep, sorry, Wallywog. You are never going to live to see another Pikmin ever again. Because we're never going to go back there. Nine days since impact. There are now only 15 parts I still need to retrieve. Will I be able to recover the main parts in 21 more days? Surely there are some parts that are not absolutely necessary. If my ship is not complete by day 30, the only way I will find out is to try to lift off. I must. I just recalled the day I took my son for a ride in the spaceship. He was so happy. He was so happy. I shall tell him of this journey when I return, and I shall return. I must. I can barely. I can already see the look of wonder on his precious face as I describe my adventures with the Pikmin. You know, that's one thing that people liked about this game is that as the game progresses, you can see like Omar's character developing as like through these. Through these uh, end of the day reports, you can see Olmar's character kind of, you know, developing as the game goes on. Cause he like talks about his family and stuff. So that's one thing. That's just one thing that people really like about this game is that, you know, and that they don't like about the second game is that you can actually, that Olmar actually has a character sort of in this game. <coughs> but either way. That's going to that's gonna about do it for today's episode of Let's Play Pikmin, okay? So, um, next time on Let's Play Pikmin, we're going to um, go back to the Impact site and get the last the part there that we could not get before with the yellow Pikmin and the blue Pikmin because it's actually going to require both of those colors. I forgot to mention that earlier. <clears throat> so, I'll see you guys then. Multiclass Gamer signing out. Thanks for watching uh, day 9 of Let's Play Pikmin. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Actually, more like later today, but you know what I mean. Bye.